disconnect everything but really I have to turn the C64 off anyway and uh, we have to connect up the tape deck now where the hell do I put the tape deck I was using now oh, that could be a problem I'll put the tape deck somewhere and I don't know where I've put it ah here we go it must be this one Yeah, I think it's this one, but uh, there's no way of knowing now. Ah well. Now the wires are very thin on this SD toy, see? Just the right size for the cats to chew on. Live tape testing. Kind of run out of the loose stuff. Well, the tape is ejecting, so uh, could be the same one. And she's actually the correct Annie Rog, which you won't be able to see. Uh, clamshell plastic case, well, it may be back to front. And the tape is rewound. Oh, it actually says Annie Rog on the tape, which you're not going to see. A side wrong side round uh, that could be lined up perfectly it might not be lined up at all should start hearing something soon here we go oh no that's not good This is going to load. Such beautifully rich colours when used as Sony Trinitron. Do actually have a, a late 70s, very early 80s, pre C64 launch day uh, Trinitron. Alright, Lannikins, obviously, I don't want to sit on your buddy, so. Well, I'm sure you're very comfortable, it wouldn't do your health any good at all, but... Well, the screen's just gone park in there, so that's fucked. Fucked, 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 fucked. So... Oh, actually, it started. As soon as I get out, you fast. Alright, we'll just wait. Wait for the uh, click of uh, failed loading. AKA failed to uh, back up your friend's uh, C64 games with your uh, Fisher Studio Standard 2 Twin uh, Deck Hi-Fi with uh, the stupid addition of separate left and right recording levels which absolutely fucked everything up. got enough problems recording it with a stereo head but anyway I never could copy any of that shit and we never had uh, any other twin deck system in the house obviously we weren't rich or nothing we just about managed to have a VCR top loader uh, Ferguson uh, TX 21 or 20, uh, 28 inch uh, CRT TV with twin speakers, that was nice, lots of bass in them, good, good, better than any fucking LCD TV you get today, or OLED, <laughs> so 
so you have to buy a completely separate sound system for your TV now. Well done, millennial cocksuckers, well done. That don't sound good. I can't hear the buzzy. Right. Forget that, forget that. Have we got any cold coffee? No, none with the cold coffee. I don't think it's going to load at all. It doesn't sound right when it was loading the uh, standard Commodore loader start bit. So, anyway. I've got a bit of a stomach ache, so that probably means Burger King. It means time for Burger King. Or do I want to risk my life for, uh, you know, a couple of uh, Burger King double cheeseburgers, large fries, and a milkshake? Good question. This ain't loading, is it? Nah. The only copy I've got is shit as well. Oh, bollocks. So I don't know if it's just crashed and the tape motor stopped. It's the trouble when you're 16 feet, 15 feet, whatever, away from your C64. It's probably the same distance uh, when I was sitting on the toilet in the bathroom to where the C64 was in my bedroom. Now nah, this isn't going well at all. It's going pretty shit actually. Now what can you do mate? What can you do? All you can do is uh, get a cola, try again on the other side. Yeah that's stuck on the purple so that, that didn't load properly. I didn't think it would. We could try beating up the uh, cassette, just to uh, try and loosen all the dust in the reels, but uh, I don't think that's a problem here. Yeah, I think the uh, tape has actually stopped. It, it should have come to the end of the tape by now. Ah well. <clears throat> That's the trouble really. If you buy your cassettes in bundles, you don't know how they've been stored. Actually I didn't even hear the cassette go off. Yeah. I'll try it the other way around again. Beep. This sounds even worse this side. Yeah, that is correct. So I wrote that program and I only had to uh, look at the Commodore manual once just to uh, get the syntax for mid-string. I wasn't sure how that would work. And the rest of it was all on the fly testing, this and that. Well, it, is, it ain't half windy today. Let's go and fill up the boiler a bit. Get a can of coke. Crisps are in the car, mate. The crisps are in the car. Oh, actually, I've got a bit of phone on charge. Here's a fucking phone. A fucking phone! Yeah, where is the bloody telephone? Okay. Right, here it is. Eat. Have to go and put it on charge for a bit. Let's hope this works.
Ah oh, no, that's not a good sign. Ah oh, well. I don't know if I've actually uh, played that. Oh, that one didn't work. Did I actually want to check that out? Where's the bits of cardboard holding the door up? Right there, little stink. I think all my cats are bored at the moment, so might be a bit too much. Right, Montezuma's Revenge it is then. So this one's fucked. I've probably got more than one copy of this. So. One, two, three. I really need some sort of box to keep the uh, SD to IEC. What am I doing? See, I'm too used to uh, using the uh, disk system. Right. Did I actually find another game? Where's the other one I was going to show you? Monty, Monty Mole's Revenge. No, it isn't. Yeah, where's the uh, other game? I'm going to check out. Christ, I need my glasses, mate. Okay, so it's not that one, it's Darian Space Area, blah blah blah. There you go, this is uh, Hopeless, trying to load tapes, no the game, it is actually the game Hopeless, I do actually have a copy of it. Uh, unfortunately, there's no instructions in there, there's no instructions printed on the back of the inlay. So, uh, but, uh, I don't know if I could retire on that particular one. Mm, maybe we could get a couple of used tyres for my car with the price of that one. Uh, yeah. I don't remember frack. The case for frack on it. Oh bloody hell, that was quick. Select level one, two, or three. So, uh, where's the uh, case for that one? Bloody I'm um, draining in tapes over here, thank you. Uh, where did we, here we go, it's under Sacred Armour of Antiriad, which I'm not going to play. Forget that. Featuring Panama Joe. Why didn't they call him Indianapolis James? Indianapolis James do 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 you only have to change like a few notes and then uh, technically they can't do you for copyright so maybe if I did a game like that I would call it Indianapolis James now more importantly what the fuck happened to wagon wheels they used to be nice I had one yesterday and the biscuit inside is not very nice Oh, this does actually look quite nice on the old thing you're trying to ruin the old thing. Is that all the uh, thing in there? Just about. <sighs> yeah, 
there. Definitely something funny going on with this shit. Something funny. Let's put a bit of paper on there. Eight. Right, <clears throat> dipstick at the ready, knacker dipstick, check. Oh, the game started already, so there's no, uh, okay, well you can enjoy the uh, graficos, which is actually the French word for, sorry, Spanish word for graphics. Let's reduce the uh, CPC levels of saturation there. obviously wasting camera time and I, I don't actually know how much space there is on the camera. I deleted some stuff off it yesterday but uh, anyway. Apparently this is the original taste since 1886 and if you believe that you fucking believe anything so I guess every millennial a 90s born prick believes that but uh, Get the dust off the lid. This is full sugar coke, man. Full sugar. I had full sugar coke last night. Yeah, actually, it doesn't say uh, full sugar coke. He says something else. He had something else last night. That's from uh, Alan Partridge. <laughs> That's the uh, the guy who works in the. Uh, Hotel stroke petrol station later on. I think season two he works in the petrol station. Unless he moonlights there. I don't know, sir. I don't know. Let's make a bit of space for my cola. Yeah, real Coca Cola. If you want. Bloody hell, what are they doing down there? If you want. Uh, you know, Coke Zero to taste like real Coca-Cola, you're going to have to put a bit of uh, real lime juice in there, I reckon. And of course, when I went to the shops, there was no fucking limes. They had lemons, but they didn't have limes. That's one of the things, if, I, if I'd seen the limes, I would have remembered straight away. Wee! I accidentally moved the joystick there. I'm just trying to untangle the bastard thing. They're jumping on the boxes. Some of them are empty. So you have to get the key right. Okay. So this ladder's not really going to do anything for me. Well, uh, can we go up here? No. How would you get them things there then? Anyway. So I've got a key. So, alright, okay. So I guess you can only open one of the doors. Very colourful game. Oh, they're just bonus points. Oh, actually, you can't jump off the ladder. Oh, that's a bit of a tight one. Could go off the screen here, I guess. So you don't hit your head on the things, so there's that. Let's carry on exploring. Although maybe we should go and get the other... Uh... Mm. 
Okay, this could be a bit iffy. Well, that's very iffy. He doesn't go right to the edge like Manic Miner, you know, like when he's holding onto the ledge with, uh, you know, like the edge of his feet. I don't want to say the other word, it disgusts me. I think another 20 years and I'll find uh, fingers disgusting as well. So, uh, okay, it might be easy to go that way <laughs> for me. Oh, bloody hell. Crap. So we got another blue key, so I can go back out. Roll up's gone out again. Very nicely programmed game. The controls are very nice on this game. Oh crap, I don't like them for that. Oh no, 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 no. Fuck, I'm out. blue door, I haven't seen a blue key. Yeah, oh, crap. Okay. So how am I supposed to uh, do this bit then? Actually, how am I supposed to do any of this? I ain't even worked out how to get up these bloody things. This looks impossible. Okay, I assume those things, maybe if you jump on them. Oh, 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 Mario and uh, Seeger are going to be a bit fucked in the courts over that one, mate. Hang on. These things chop you up, didn't they? I went on something like that and it kind of chopped me up. Right, okay, if you land on them, you're fucked. So, it's, uh, you have to map out the game, and you know me, I don't really like games that you have to map out. Oh, crap, I can't do it that way. Yeah, actually, once you're up there, How'd you get out? Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, come on, mate. Bloody hell. So there's no time limit that I can see. Okay. 
Oh man, I wouldn't need that key. So how do you get back up here? Right, okay. I can't see any way to get out of this level. Yeah, I'm not very good at this. I'm sure other people have done very good games. But uh, successfully uh, loaded. That's all I wanted to see. Is there anything else? Does it need a bit of extra juice when it's uh, booting up? If you've got the uh, tape deck motor running. Yeah, that loaded in a very short amount of time actually. So that does work. That's good. It's good to know, sir. And there is instructions here. However, they're not going to help me. So, if you've got a C64 and an Atari, I'd say it's worth getting this on both. Unless you've got enough space for both on there, then if you've only got one, there's no point to buy more than one version. There we go. Nice and secure in there, buddy. Alright. Yeah, we played Cybertron, we played Cyberman, Starion is probably rubbish. There's no instructions for hopeless anyway. Ooh, crazy this is one of the fastest loading C64 games. Mm. Just peeling off some of the excess plastic there. It is just a plastic. So. Well, I've got instructions for games that you really don't need instructions for. Yeah, I've tested this game to be, uh, you know. And the fastest loading, uh, if not the fastest loading C64 tape. I may have folded it a bit too much. No, we wasted a bit of time there. Do I deserve a bit of cola? Just a tiny bit. Blimey, it did actually work. <coughs> I had Mega Apocalypse, I can't remember if I had this. Take a lot of hits. Ah, son of a bitch. Don't know what those power ups do. I think the smaller they are, the less hits they take. 
Yeah. If you don't get them quick enough, you're a bit shafty, really. Nice game, actually. Total rip-off of uh, Mad Planets in the arcade. Oh man! Do I deserve a bit of wagon wheels for that? Ah, uh, probably not. Well, actually, the shit wagon wheels you get now, maybe. Yeah, I think basically they're skimping out on the uh, marshmallow filling. I think that's the problem there. Marshmallow to biscuit ratio is too millennial and corporate greed. Mm, bloody hell. Yeah, they follow you, so... Now you get the hang of this game quite easily, actually. That was a bit risky, that was. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I don't know what this is like on other computers actually. It's just easier to avoid the comment I guess. Rather than shooting and uh, shooting your bonus. Don't shoot your bone up. That's very bad for you. Ah, yeah. I don't even think I got as far as last time. Well, obviously you know it's me, because I'm talking all over the bloody video, isn't it? I actually prefer this to uh, Mega Apocalypse, it's more playable. But Mega Apocalypse has a two-player co-op mode, so there is that. Ooh, come on mate, come on, come on, you stay up there with me. At least they're not going fucking crazy. Ah, I didn't want to lose a life on the first bloody level. That's crap. Might as well go for the high score. Might as well, innit? Yeah,
Oh man, where did that thing come from? So I'm not even beating my own score here. Yeah, that was me just there. 7733. Three. Anyway, I did actually load though, so I'm glad that loaded. It's nice to have the real tapes to load. It's a much nicer experience. Oh, it's done it again actually. I'm going to have to find one of the uh, white brick power supplies. Um, I've got loads of PSUs. Very rare for me to buy a C64 without a PSU. So I just don't know where most of this stuff is because uh, most of the time I took the PSU out of the box not to uh, put any more strain on the uh, pretty buggered, uh, whatchamacallit, <coughs> poly inserts. Oh, this is in mint condition. Yes! What was the other game on Oh, yeah. Uh, Cyberman. So, this and this, maybe we could fix quite a few things on my car. Yeah, well. Give that a go. Is it safe to touch the uh, milk bottles yet? I can't remember if I picked one up from the back of the uh, trolley or not. Uh, I did check out uh, Robocop, you know, the seed. And uh, it sounds alright on the uh, 8580. Well, I don't know if it's actually loading now. Yeah, you've got to be careful when you do that. I'll never forget, I, the first time I got an overload game, I was already doing this, where you put the volume right up. Obviously, I used to have a Triumph TV with like a dial. You didn't have to wait for the buttons to go you know, be pressed automatically or manually by me personally many times to get it down to the bottom you could whack the volume straight down but I had the volume right up I always used to do this when I bought a new game uh, I liked hearing that the game was going to load uh, and I must have gone I think I went either downstairs to get like some crisps or something from the uh, cupboard, sideboard cupboard thingy in the living room, or maybe I went for a pee. So I never went to the public bathrooms, which is probably why I'm still alive. I just never, no, uh, I would always hold it in, even if I like had a slight, you know, need to go. Obviously, if I was desperate, that's a bit different, but. I've never been in a situation where I had to use a public bathroom back then. So anyway, and uh, you know, that Nova load screech come along and it was like, uh, Jesus Christ. But I've possibly by the time I even got back to the TV, all that screeching had finished and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> with a TV volume that you should try it connect your C64 to a you know like a CRT TV preferably a portable one uh, whack the volume right up do the Pope 54296,15 business wow it's really windy again the windows are whistling the double glazed and closed windows are whistling Yeah, it's a P, there's no instructions on this. I was reading the instructions to Force 7. 
because no one did a proper review of four seven. There's a couple of long plays. And that's meaningless. And there's a few other videos, including one by me. You know, which I like to call clueless videos because you don't really know how to play it. It's just basically showing people the graphics. Obviously, mine is the oldest of those videos. God knows how we survive not getting uh, copyright strikes, but anyway. Even uploaded a, a clip of a Formula One crash once, and uh, oh, fuck me, that was instantly uh, fucking red screen. Uh, man, there's, there's something different about that. I don't think I could even preview like what I'd uploaded because even if your, your video is blocked worldwide sometimes they do allow you to like play the video as the channel owner you can't download it but you could do that and uh, uh, that was like and uh, I'd recorded it at like 33% speed because it was uh, a Formula 1 crash can't remember which one it wasn't from this year it was from one last year it was quite a bad crash a bit more wagon wheel I think I do actually have some marshmallows what I could do is cut it in half, shove, shove some marshmallows in there, put it back together. Now perhaps if anyone who watches this channel is from America, they could actually tell me the difference between a Klondike bar and uh, a regular Choc ice, as they're called, which is a square of ice cream uh, with uh, chocolate on the outside. Choc ice is what your parents would have when you went to the park. So if there's an ice cream van, guarantee both my parents would have a choc ice. I used to have a small ice cream with uh, a cherry lolly stuck in it. <coughs> Before you say anything, I was actually really skinny as a kid. My parents took me to the fucking doctor to give me uh, pills to increase my appetite. How oh, well, was I supposed to know? If I'd known at eight years old, if you're uh, bloody skinny most of your life and not because... Uh, you're eating unhealthily, you know, I couldn't really eat unhealthily. When I was that young, you actually live longer. It's like putting money in the bank for your pension. Yeah, it's like a pension, really. It does you good in the long term. <clears throat> I don't know if this is going to load. This is why I don't like flashing... Uh, loaders that don't have light flashing lines or anything damn it i wish this thing still worked maybe we could digitize it for the pet ski with no name because we already done the uh whatchamacallit the choo choo sounds <coughs> i think that's uh the thing i'm most impressed with <laughs> the choo choo sounds that i did <laughs> I have tried a couple of times to draw like uh, train type things in pet ski but I've decided no, nah, there's no point <clears throat> and maybe uh, maybe it'll be a case of using some sprites and you know pet ski backgrounds uh, I suppose for the poker game if you limit everyone to four cards or you do the thing where you share two cards but everyone else gets three cards uh, that would work I could use sprites for that but who's going to define the uh, 50 sprites 
it's not going to fit in memory see stupid things like that yeah there is no easy way unless you literally draw your own user defined graphics and do them in such a way yeah because it's uh, 24 characters by 21 I can't remember if it actually takes uh, uh, I can't remember exactly how much memory it takes for each sprite We timed that perfectly. So this works as well. Again, we did not allow me to rewind. I did was press fire. What's wrong with that? What am I supposed to do this? I can't. Why is he not moved from the thing? Do you have to disconnect from the thing? What's going on? I didn't have these problems before. I don't think it's loaded properly. Don't tell anyone though, no. as far as eBay is concerned, tested to load, not play tested though. See, that's that's why eBay is such bollocks now, it's like, I would say it's not worth getting stuff that's untested, because uh, untested usually now means it is tested and it didn't fucking work, so now I just have to pretend that I can't test it. Now in the case of my three uh, pet computers and one double disk drive for the original pet, the original angular pet, I don't mean the very first one, I wouldn't want one of them. I bought one of the ones from the uh, bunker in Terminator 3, which is still the best Terminator film of the lot. It's very close call. The original Terminator and Terminator 3 for me. Now people with no taste are probably going to tell you to watch Terminator 2. But uh, some little shit telling a T-800 not to shoot anyone. That's not really my idea of, uh, you know. Did I rewind crazy comments? Actually? So it's a shame five-a-side football didn't work. I don't actually want to, um... Right, I've never played the secret diary of Adrian Moles. Are there any instructions in there? Hey, hey! Fucking hell. Yeah, program by level 9. It says, uh... Complete game, four programs on both sides of cassette. What does that mean? Anyway, it's rewound. There's no instruction on this. There's instru oh, there is. There's loads of instructions. Right, well, it's, uh, it's like a colouring pencil sort of done cover. Which may be like the intro from the uh, TV show. I can't remember. The label has absorbed a lot of moisture. So I don't know if this is going to work. Now, like most people born around my sort of time, I did actually, well, I don't know if I watched it, because I can't remember now, but I do know it was on and I was in the room, meaning it was, uh, you know, being shown on the TV and I was in the room that the TV was in. I don't know if I actually watched it, liked it. Uh, 
How about some loading instructions first? Loading the game. Right, okay. Don't. When the game starts, stop the tape and do not rewind it. Okay. The next programs follow this one for anything. And you don't want the tape to play on past it. Well, you could turn the cassette motor on. Off, sorry. When you reach the end of a program, so uh, it's like four four mini graphic adventures that load over each other, I guess. Which you can do in basic. You can do something like that in basic. In fact, I'm going to fucking do it. I'm going to do a 170k game. Uh, pet ski graphic adventure game. I'm just waiting for my pet ski graphic skills to improve enough to be uh, worth the effort. Ah, and then we've got to come up with the idea. But you know me, I'm a graphics whore. So it's going to be a problem if you leave the, if you leave the machine... And it doesn't stop the tape. Well, I think the built-in Commodore.